several years ago, I became convinced that the climate change projections were incre increasingly ominous. We had to do something about it. If we don't do anything, the business as usual projections as to how the climate will change and the repercussions of when the, the climate does change, uh, admittedly large error bars, but those projections are very scary. So it's prudent risk management. You don't have to wait for it to be 99% certain that these things will happen. Even at 50 or 80% probability, uh, you, would, you need to take some action. Energy funding is not proportional to its importance. If you consider how much we spend, for example, on oil, total energy costs of oil and natural gas, it's over a trillion dollars a year. The amount of actual energy research, forward-looking research, is far less than a billion dollars a year. So you have, if you put that in perspective, this is really nothing. Energy is actually something that it will depend a lot on high technologies and science. It's not what it used to be 100 years ago, go and dig up some coal, burn it, and that's it. This, the climate change issue means that we have to have new sources of clean energy. That's going to require science. It's going to require high technology. And so in all high technology industries, you have to really think about making substantial investments. What we decided several years ago was that we needed a big umbrella organization that can incorporate all the things ranging from solar photovoltaic cells. These are the standard solar cells you think about, the silicon solar cells that convert sunlight into electricity. Um, once you have the electricity, can you store that energy in an economical way that better than a battery or better than pumping water up a hill and letting it come down and to make hydroelectric power? Uh, biofuels, uh, what are the better plants to be growing? Corn, everybody agrees, is not the end answer. And how can you break down these better plants or grasses in a much more economical way? Uh, there's a possibility that you can get a factor of 10 improvement over corn in terms of energy per acre. But I looked around and I realized that Lawrence Berkeley National Lab, in partnership with the University of California, Berkeley, had the intellectual capacity to be a world center for the type of energy research that would lead to solutions. Perhaps the most promising aspect of the whole Helios project is the development of an artificial photosynthetic system. This is to say uh, something where we use nature-inspired starting point, but we go well beyond that, much the same as uh, the flight, the earliest attempts at flight were nature-inspired, but 747s don't look anything like birds.